Now what we're going to do is work with the outline of each shape. And so first I'm going to go ahead and look at my Xbox controller first. Okay, so I know that the lines inside of the controller don't exist here, so I'm going to erase those. So start by finding out what, um, what lines you don't need. Okay. So now I'm going to look at it even closer and I'm going to find out where the contour, the outline of my object is. So I can see that starting down here on this controller, um, it kind of is almost at a slant a little bit. So I'm going to erase. As I'm going, I'm erasing. As I'm going, I'm erasing so I can make sure that I have all the lines right. So as I'm going, I'm going to try to do less, um, less like really uh, quick, sharp lines. Uh, and I'm going to try to be more precise so that way I'm not uh, having to go back and erase a bunch of stuff after, after all of this. Okay, so I can see that there's the, the, the top of the Xbox controller and then there's below, a little bit below it, underneath like the Xbox logo, there's that line. So I'm going to track that first line and... It starts to go down a little ways around the middle. Sorry. And then it goes up again and it's even. And it comes back down. And then the other side of the controller is sort of at a point right here and goes up. While I'm talking, you should be doing the same thing with your own objects. You should be following along with me so that way you're not getting, having to go back a bunch of times and rewatch this. So I'm gonna curve this down. This is much more like a point I notice. And it is the same length as this controller this, the other controller arm, so I can, I'm going to erase this completely because um, I don't really think it's the right size. And so I'm going to make a tick mark where I think it needs to end. And I'm going to go ahead and try to curve it down. And then come back up a little ways. Curve it down. Uh, and that looks looks pretty close. I think this needs to be more, this needs to be pushed out more. Like it needs to be more curved and come back in. Same thing with this side. I think it needs to be curved more. Okay. So talking to yourself, again, communicating with yourself about what you need to do um, is going to be the most helpful. So I'm going to continue working on my, um, my still life and my outline.
of the outside of the object. Each time I'm looking at the outside of the object and nothing else. I'm not looking at any details yet. I'm only looking at the outside of the object. You can see I just erased the entire front of the shoe and the reason is because um, I'm using my judgment. I don't think that that shape was right and I think it's actually going to make it harder for me if I stick with that shape. So I'm just going to um, lose it so that way I can go ahead and draw it more accurately. And when I come down here, I see these little marks, these little triangles. Um, I'm going to draw those two. That doesn't look uh, perfect to me, but I, at least I'm getting this outline done so that way I can have a good kind of starting point. Right here, I'm having a little bit of trouble because I can't really see where this um, this sort of crack crevice right here starts. So I'm I'm looking at where kind of the point is, and I'm matching it up with how tall the shoe is. And so that's what's helping me when I'm comparing these um, these different shapes. Like I said, you can also take your pencil and measure using your thumb and your pointer finger. You can go ahead and kind of measure out where certain things are on your paper. kind of what you should end up with when you are complete with your outline and your shapes. It should be a pretty clean outline, almost like, um, like a coloring page kind of. Uh, so that is what the first step is going to look like.